Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are covering the AudioQuest Jitterbug FMJ. This is new, um, uh, just came in a minute ago. I got so excited I opened it up and usually I do an unboxing, but it went in a cardboard piece, <laughs> okay? And the rest is really, um, you know, just uh, directions on the back. So as you guys know, well, let, here, let me show you a, a close up of it real quick. So hopefully that's coming in focus there. But um, this is a USB, uh, basically like a line conditioner for the uh, power bus on the USB output of a computer. It can be noisy. And since I did my review of the Sonos Farber Luminas last, um, I did have this in. And uh, you guys won't know about it because I didn't mention it in the video. But I wanted to have something that could you know, help the computer out as a source sound better than just the noisy USB out. Did some research. A lot of guys doing ABs on websites that uh, are on, on YouTube that show this working. You can very audibly hear it. There's also someone else on YouTube that, I guess he's from England. I'm not going to mention his channel, but he bashes everything to do with the audio file, anything. He said that the audio quad Dragonfly Cobalt uh, sounded no better than the uh, Monolith DAC for 50 bucks. And um, so, as you know, I got that in here, did AB it, and the Dragonfly blew it away. It was ridiculous. The gentleman who owned that model has actually upgraded to a Dragonfly Red since. So yes, it does work. Yes, it does make a difference. So measurements, measurements, I give a damn. I use my ears. Um, look, everything has a 30 day money back or exchange anymore. So there's no risk. If you put something in, you don't like it, you send it back. You don't create a video smashing and bashing a company and their marketing and how stuff doesn't work when you're the only one that sits down with your little computer stuff and analyzes it in your own way, in your own mind, and what sounds good with your own headphones and your own equipment, and say everybody's gonna get the same result, because that's BS. No, they don't get the same result. There's a gentleman who posted a video of this A being on a computer, and you can audibly hear everything opens up, gets better, I mean, it's incredible. Now, I have uh, plugged this in and out real quick. I didn't get any burn in time. But uh, the bass tightened up a lot. The high smoothed out immediately, I could hear it. However, the relaxed presentation, uh, it sounds a little bit more mechanical, I'm surprised. It could be obviously because it's new and it needs burn-in and I don't care, that's a whole nother video, right, on burn-in. Um, most components, metal, you know, especially electrical pieces need time to cool off, flex, flex break in. There is a sound change with, with, uh, with components that I've heard and everything I've installed in my setup. I'm um, usually 200 hours, 150 to 200 hours, but I'll stick with 200 hours and up. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to get better. If it, I may take it out and not keep it if I can't get it to get a more relaxed presentation. But again, the bass really tightened up, the high smoothed out. So maybe I just need to get used to this uh, for a couple days and, uh, and then pull it out again and plug it in and AB it and see if it's broken in a little bit. Now, I've always wanted to say this and I'm gonna, I'm, this analogy, I'm gonna give it to you guys. For those of you who say there's no such thing as burning and that your ears just get used to stuff, okay? I want you to go outside of your house and I want you to take a big, nice spoonful of dog crap and I want you to put it in your mouth, swish it around like wine, swallow it and go, oh my God, right? What does it taste like? It tastes like crap, right? Now I want you to go do that every day for the next two weeks, every morning. Take that piece of dog crap, chew it up and swallow it, right? Is it gonna taste better in two weeks? Or are you gonna go, oh my God, my taste buds, my, it must have been placebo, but I suddenly like the taste of dog crap. It just tastes better after two weeks. I got used to it. I got adjusted to dog shit in my mouth, right? Are you gonna say that to me? No, you're not. It's still gonna taste like dog shit, right? So a component that sounds like crap out of the box if it sounds like crap in two weeks, it's going back, okay? If, if burn-in takes effect, and th I've taken notes on this daily on, on, on uh, like the Oppo uh, 105D I had. I couldn't even listen to the damn thing when I came home from work every day until after two weeks, over 200 hours. So, and then it was beautiful and I had people over to verify how it sounded before and after. But, you know, that's what burning is, okay? If, it, if you don't like it after two weeks, it's not gonna sound better because you listen to it and you got used to it. Just like eating dog crap is it gonna taste better after two weeks. So I wanted to put that in this video because I'm tired of people talking dog crap about burning because it is a thing. So um, enough talk, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna jam out to a little uh, jazz here and you guys can tell me what you think. 
We're gonna do, we're gonna play it without it, and then we're gonna plug it in and play it with. And we're, it's not gonna be a long, long cut here. I just want you guys to AB it with me. So here we, here, here it is without it. Guess I better plug the USB in. I got my Kimber Select here. Forgive the screen. It's blurry for a second while I plug this in. Cause I got one hand, one take. Okay. One take videos, try not to edit as much as possible. Here we go. Okay, so that is without it. Now we're gonna set this down here for a minute. Guys, sorry. You're gonna see a back, a back wall for a second while I get this bad boy plugged in. There's no quick way to do it, but here we go. Okay. There, now it's plugged in and we're gonna do this again. Now you tell me that is not a difference, dude. I'm sorry. That is <laughs> that is a big time difference. That um, the highs were smoother. There it was fuller. Um, the bass was tighter. And I got to tell you, the airiness in there. You know, I think what I was hearing a little bit was just a little jitter, a little a little a little high frequency hash. I don't know because a being it right there through the screen, it sounded pretty damn good with it in. But anyway, I'll give it more time. Obviously, I have no time on it except uh, the minute that I unplugged it and he beat it. And I can hear a difference immediately. I was getting ready to pack it up, send it back. I got it through Amazon. I was just going to send that baby back if it didn't work. But um, as you can see, um, or hear, in my opinion, it did. Uh, much more much more bass control, uh, much warmer. Uh, the highs were sweeter. Some of the air that I heard around the speaker um, when I first took it out a minute ago and played it could just be, you know, digital noise. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it sounds better to me. So I'm going to give it uh, 200 hours and then I'll probably bring it up in another video with you guys. Um, what happened or, or if I kept it or not, but the way, damn, the way it sounded now, I'm keeping it for 60 bucks. But the point of the video was to show you that just cause people on YouTube say I measured it. I don't see a difference. I can't hear a difference. Doesn't mean everybody's system, DAX, preamps, amps, sources, speakers, you know, aren't more revealing. You know, um, uh, I, I I do have um, uh, 12VS for you guys, guys of you that didn't see my last video. I do have Kimber 12VS and I have uh, Kimber Hero, uh, you know, powering this. So for those of you who never saw my video before, this is just my computer setup. And uh, on my channel, I usually cover that bad boy over there. So um, yeah, I'm happy. We'll talk to you guys next time on the next video. I still want to do a comparison between vinyl and CD just for fun. Um, boy, is that going to be a shitstorm of comments, but it's going to be hilarious to do. So um, I will uh, catch you guys on the next video, and uh, hooray for the Dragonfly Jitterbug FMJ. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. So I wanted to do a follow-up uh, video for the end of this uh, this whole video here. I, I, I really left the video off with you guys kind of open-ended, and I wanted to close it out with more clarity. So I spent 10 days burning this uh, DAC in. Uh, I'm sorry, burning the uh, jitterbug in, the noise filtration, and I was right about the burning. Um, I left this thing playing 24 hours a day for 10 days, which is about 239 hours. And tonight as I was listening to it while I was making dinner, um, I was just really, really smiling ear to ear because um, any kind of glare or harshness on the top end, a little brittleness is, is gone. 
and everything's just really full and palpable. So I unplugged it and played it without it and uh, the vocals just collapsed. Everything kind of just became like almost blurred or watery um, in the in the sound stage and uh, there, there really wasn't any kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, imaging. Nothing had a sense of separation at all. So uh, I plugged it back in and listened and, and, and just right here, just the vocals went bam and just fleshed out and everything had a, had a little sense of space. And, and that's pretty damn awesome when you're considering these these speakers are two and a half feet apart. But um, anyway, the, the Jitterbug is 100% awesome. Now I am going to uh, give you guys, kind of throw you guys a interesting tidbit here on a negative for the Jitterbug. So I plugged it into the back of my Electric Company at Streamer, my ECM-1, because it says this thing can go in any kind of device that has a USB. And I put it in there and it was absolutely terrible. Everything became stringent and bright, hashy and harsh. And I was like, damn. And I pulled it out because I thought it was going to hurt hurt it. <laughs> right? But um, in, in, the, in the end, when I have it over here, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's magic. So... I think what's going on is a lot of reviewers, um, depending on their setup and their system and, and you know that synergy we always talk about, system synergy, this thing makes some stuff sound like crap and makes other stuff sound great. Uh, in my case, thank God, um, I, I got a cool upgrade for my computer system. Obviously, I could have sent it back. I got it through Amazon from an audio store. I could have returned it, but I did. I'm not going to because I've given it 10 days. I listened to it all 10 days. Tonight, it just snapped into place and made me grin ear to ear, and I knew that there was a big change, and I was ready to do the follow-up review. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. In my opinion, for 60 bucks, you have, at least on a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, um, it's delightful. So, um, you know, on other devices, it may not be. So, whoever you buy it, make sure you get a uh, exchange or return policy on it and go for it. So... That is it, guys. Just wanted to give you this last follow-up. I thought it would be nice to round off the video with my, my full opinion. All right, see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.